scary news from the REM tour. REM drummer Bill Berry is resting in a Swiss hospital after suffering a ruptured brain aneurysm during a show. We were playing, and Bill was supposed to come forward and play bass, and he came out, and it was like the night of the living dead. His eyes were wide open, he was holding his head, and he was swaying, and he just collapsed on me, you know? And it's like, Jesus, Bill, what's wrong? He goes, I think I've, had, I've got a migraine. I said, I've had migraines before, this is an awful, it's the worst migraine I've ever had. It hurt. It felt like a bowling ball hit my head, and the lights kind of dimmed, and the next thing I knew, I was on the floor. I remember every bit of it. I didn't pass out, I didn't go into shock or anything. It was, it was scary. When they eventually got into the hospital and operated on him virtually immediately. It was miraculous that we were in Lausanne, Switzerland, when he collapsed with a brain aneurysm. You know, we were two miles from the greatest brain surgeons in the world. The very first day, Mike and Michael and I went up to Mike's room and just said, okay, we're not hiring another drummer, and we're not going down there without Bill. You know, virtually everyone is saying, you can't just not do these days. And it's like, you know, I'm sorry, this, that's not the way this band works. I mean, I'm not going to go leave Bill in a hospital dying and go, you know, higgly-piggly down the road and do a rock show. Forget it. Initially, they said, well, you know, you have to stay here. I was like, no, no, you don't understand. You need to give me something for the pain because I need to get back out on the road. They're like, no, 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 you don't understand. At that point, I thought the tour was over. I just thought, well, you know, if Bill recovers, maybe he'll want to do something in a couple of years. And he was just like, I'll be ready in two weeks. And we're just like, you know, that's insane, Bill. He just cracked your head open like a coconut. REM fans have been holding their breath, wondering if the tour would even happen ever since Barry suffered a ruptured aneurysm in his brain on March 1st. Do you like to be the guy that ended the REM tour halfway through because you had a little boo-boo in your head? No. I was just took three or four weeks for my body to recover for it. Bill's recovered really well. I mean, we wouldn't be out here if it, were, if it wasn't 100% safe and, and all that, but it was surprising to me that we were out this quick. If you're wondering how Bill is, you can open up the program and see the x-ray of his head. Let's put it this way, now that we've played another show and everyone knows that we can do it, and that and Bill's okay and everything's fine, we really downplayed the drama of what, what occurred in Switzerland. It was really very frightening. Uh, we spent the next month over there, and then there was another month or so of Bill recuperating here at home before he felt strong enough and restarted the whole thing, and then, you know, there we are back in Switzerland, and Mike comes down with something, and it ended up being a really pretty serious abdominal operation for him. I had what's known by the lovely term of ad abdominal adhesions. It's uh, the complications from the appendectomy I had the year before. They finally figure out what's wrong, and he needs an operation right then. Well, that was the night we were supposed to play Prague. We'd already rescheduled the show once, so now we have to announce in Prague that once again, we're not going to be able to play the show, which creates a certain amount of disappointment. People wonder, are, are we messing with them? It's frustrating because you don't want to, you want to make the shows. You know, you're out there to do, you know, you're out there partly because you love it, but you're also doing a job. Mike drafted a little press release before he went to, the, you know, to our fans in Prague. We will be back no matter what. A month later, we tacked on. We flew in and did a show just in Prague, just for the fans there. That's the night that Michael came in with his hernia. <laughs> so Michael's walking around Prague going, you know, I'm not feeling quite right. I had a hernia because I sing hard. The, the doctor told me you know, pushing the Pushing from singing is what caused it to happen. I've had it for a few years. I never knew what it was. <laughs> so I'm in this hospital with Michael in the hallway. Michael's just talked to this doctor who says, yeah, you can play the show, but you know, you might want to be careful. You might want to sit down. These kids walk up, kids, you know, maybe 20 years old, backpack, look like typical travelers around Europe. And they see Michael and they go, is the show still going to be on? Michael goes, yeah, the show's still happening. They do the show. We get him on an airplane. He's operated on at Emory Hospital in Atlanta the next morning. And with us right now, the band is looking both ways before they cross the street. R.E.M., how are you guys doing? Hey, Tabitha, we're doing good. Michael, you're the most recent surgery victim. How are you feeling? Do you want to see it? Yeah. I can show it to you. Show me, baby. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, you can put that up now. You know, in defense of myself, I was on painkillers the whole time that I was showing my scar to the world. And As you know, Michael Seif is still recovering from his hernia operation, so he's moving a little slower these days, but I checked the tote board, and if you can believe this, it's actually been 38 days since REM has had a medical emergency. You know, we had to have a sense of humor about it, but it, when Mike fell, it was like, okay, whatever. When I fell, it was like, this is ridiculous. What are the odds of three of the four guys having in Bill's case, very serious. In Mike's case, pretty darn serious. And in Michael's case, less serious, but still three guys going into the knife in a four-month period. It turned out to be the tour of attrition. Um, everybody but Peter ended up in the hospital. 